doing, Hi, Carson? Hi, Corinne. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing all right. There was a lot of Carson there, not enough Corinne. I know. See, I always say we could always use more Corinne, but hey, we also need Carson, too, so how's the weather? <laughs> it's, it's looking all right. I, it is a little warmer than I initially expected for this afternoon, and you'll notice it when you walk outdoors. You can see we have more cloud cover than sunshine right now, but still some blue peeking itself through the clouds, and we'll certainly take that. But this is what I mean for our temperatures. I just checked our Tyler location. We're already at 73 degrees. 70 is the current reading at the East Texas Regional Airport, so I've kind of had to fine tune the forecast a little bit. Still plenty dry, so I'm not expecting any sort of rainfall a little later on today, but winds are out of the south at about 16 miles per hour, and we'll continue to watch out for those stronger winds. The stronger winds, that's the reason why the temperatures are really being driven up into the 70s, but there it is right there. Tyler is at 73. It is 68 in Mineola, 67 in Sulphur Springs. So commonly locations to the north are in the 60s and we're in the 70s down to the south. Look at deep east Texas. It's 71 in Lufkin and 70 right now in Nacogdoches. So what I've done is I've added three more degrees to the, your high temperature for today since we've already exceeded the initial forecast high. We're going to be at 75, about a 30% chance of rain, but this is more so after midnight, maybe a little bit of drizzle prior to midnight, but not expecting that to really impact your Wednesday afternoon down to 61 and we will see rain by daybreak tomorrow morning with a cold front that is forecasted to move through the area. Let's go ahead and break that down via future cast. First off, we have the clouds. The red arrows you see on your screen right here. That's a strong southerly wind. That's why we're so warm today because it's effectively transporting warm Gulf air into our region. Now here comes the front right there. This is six o'clock in the the morning temperatures initially starting out in the upper 50s and lower 60s. We have some heavy rain in the area at times, so be very careful if you're going to be out on the roadways early tomorrow morning because there will be some heavy rain at times. Of course, there could be a little bit of hydroplaning going on, some standing water, so please be careful if you're driving to Dallas, maybe to visit with family, or even if you're heading to a turkey trot or something like that, because we're going to have rain in the area. This is 8 o'clock in the morning. Some showers and thunderstorms still in deep east Texas by about 9 o'clock. Most of that has shifted to the southeast of Nacogdoches and Lufkin, and the front moves through. Northwestern counties We're already in the lower 50s by the time we roll into your Thursday. Thursday afternoon. Clouds will eventually move out by 5, 6 o'clock. This is when you might be setting the table for your Thanksgiving supper. Well, temperatures in the 50s and 40s by then, and we dry out and we cool down big time as we head into tomorrow morning. Potentially a frost, if not, maybe even a light freeze, so we will have to keep a close eye on that, and it looks to be cold for your Black Friday. Up to a half inch for our northern counties, up to an inch for deep east Texas, so not a washout by any stretch of the imagination, but we will take the beneficial rainfall as we can get it. The main impacts from this storm will be if you have plans tomorrow morning. This is what we were talking about. If you're driving or you're heading out to a turkey trot, well, drive slow or bring the umbrellas if you're a spectator especially. But we do dry out a little later on in the day as reflected in your Thanksgiving Day forecast. 40s by 6 o'clock, so quite chilly as we uh, kind of get towards the evening with those temperatures in the 40s down to the 30s tomorrow night, 50s and 60s the rest of the way, at least until Tuesday. For the latest weather forecast, you can head on over to KETK.com. Thank you very much, Carson, for that forecast.